The pros and cons of starting a business in this industry, is it even worth the investment? I am going to give it to you straight, but before I do that, just a quick disclaimer, I am not pulling a Dexter, I am in my bedroom and nothing is unpacked. Okay, I have a list here of the pros, the cons, we're just gonna get right into it. Number one is it is the best creative outlet. I have never done anything that felt like I was using all of my creativity and the moment that I realized I could get paid for it, just it fueled that outlet even more. And most people, we have full-time jobs, people are full-time mom or they're in school or whatever it is. And to be able to go home and make a board or do something on the weekends or style something, it doesn't feel like work. It feels creative and it feels like that outlet. So I would say that is my number one pro. A con is there is no consistent pay unless you get some sort of retainer corporate client and they commit to you for X amount of months, but there isn't a consistent paycheck coming in to you every two weeks. And that can be hard if you quit your job and you're like, I'm gonna do this full time and you've got all your bills paid and then all of a sudden you quit your job and now you're like, well, I'm not making any money. Well, the pay is not consistent, but that will lead me to my next pro. So another pro related to that is when you do get paid, it has been double the amount of what I made at my full-time job. So I had my full-time job the first 14, 18 months of pursuing this business. And when I booked one event, it was double my pay, sometimes even more. So. I made more and I was getting paid pretty well hourly, but I made more when I was doing one event that was like five hours versus working eight hours make, being paid hourly. So that's kind of a cool perk slash pro. Another con is you're gonna run into a client that is either really needy or snobby um, or just kind of judgmental or they think they know it all you're gonna run into all types of people and there is a bunch of negative Nancy's out there. So you have to be mindful of that because it is your business. You are the face of your business and you can't, um, you can't give them spice back, unfortunately. A pro is that there is a great community of people in this industry, whether that is a local cheese board business to you or the local photographer florist, wedding planner, and all the people on my Instagram. So many people are so friendly, so supportive, and I encourage that for you to be the way for people who haven't been in the industry or who are brand new. Um, it just feels good. So it's worth all the snobby encounters I've had with clients because I'm surrounded by such great people that it doesn't even matter. What's one snobby person when there's 500 really, really good people, you know? Okay, I would call this one a con because some people might not like responsibility like myself. Um, so responsibility to me is a con. There is so much you have to take responsibility for from your receipts to owning a mistake to dropping a board on the way to an event, to accidentally putting um, something that maybe is they requested they didn't want on the table. You have to own being late. Um, you're responsible for the people who are meeting you at the event if they are late. You're responsible for paying people. You're responsible for your taxes. The, the list goes on and on of the responsibility of this industry. Um, so that is something that might be a pro to you where you're like, yes, that's that's your jollies. You love responsibility. But for me, uh, working nine to five and having a boss and all of that, there was something I liked that I didn't have to be responsible for the angry customer that came in or I didn't have to be responsible for all these deadlines because that was the person above me. I just had to, you know, do whatever my job was. So once I learned the responsibility part, now I'm in a flow, so it's not as bad, but I don't want to, I don't want to sugarcoat my cons. We're going to leave them, leave it like that. Here's a pro. You get to make your own schedule. So whether you're working full time and this is just something you can do Saturdays and Sundays, 
you get to make your schedule. You don't have to work for someone on a Tuesday if you don't want to. You don't have to work on a Saturday if you spend all day with the kids. You pick the times that you work, you pick the days that you work, and that's the beauty of this. You can say no to clients. So cool, so cool. My last con that I have today is that this trend dies. Everything dies. I hate to be kind of dark, but this won't last forever. Now, my pro for that though is I have to back, I have to defend that one a little bit because I started in 2017 and it has never been hotter here in 2021. Um, the industry has really grown. It is saturated, but in a positive way because the more of us doing this, the more demand there is for grazing tables, boxes, cones, flowers, picnics, you name it. But on the other side of it, it's also you can pivot. So if you start right now, you start your business in 2021, you don't have a following, you don't have a client, you don't even have a board to start on, and you invest in those types of things, or you invest in the board to business blueprint, which gives you everything you need to know to get started and, and how to actually make a profit. If you do that, you're able to find a way to pivot. And that can be like, if it just dropped and charcuterie grazing tables for COVID, those weren't popular. I had several events be canceled because of that. But what did I do? I pivoted and I started to create crates. And those were non-perishable crates. Some of them were perishable. I just delivered um, with ice. There's all sorts of things. There's cones. You can do a cone wall and that's easier to grab and go versus the grazing table laying out and having to deal with people's hands on the table. Picnics, that's another thing. Picnics are extremely profitable. And even if you do one without grazing tables or foods or boxes, you can still make a pretty penny. Flowers. So pivoting is always possible. So I say start your business and go for it. And if something happens where you know, someone says charcuterie is not cool and nobody should be eating it and someone listens to that person, well, you've got flowers, you've got picnics, you've got mocktails, you've got things in your back pocket where you're able to pivot. So just keep that in mind. And I think that's all my pros and cons. If you are interested in learning more about the Board to Business Blueprint, you can check the description below. I have a link to our website. All the information is on there. There's actually a ton of great bonuses in there. I've got the mastermind recordings, which is, it's about an $89 value, but there's over five and a half hours of content. There might even be over six and a half hours. It's incredible. You also get Grazeology 101. So if you've never done a grazing table, I walk you through it step-by-step step on how to do a flat lay. You get the ebook, access to our private Facebook group, documents. I show you my service agreement, my contract. I even show you a food formula of how much food you should buy per person. Then there's so much more in the Facebook group. So if you feel like something wasn't answered in the, um, in the course itself, in our Facebook group, you can ask away and I will answer. And I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for anyone that feels like they need a little bit more help, a little more support, or someone that feels like they've got the marketing down, they've got their Instagram down and they're working, but they just feel like they're stuck or they just got their first big event for 150 people and they can't wrap their head around it. So I'm here for all of these types of things that come up. You're not alone. And remember the course is universal. It's not just for residents living in California. We have people all the way in Canada, Australia, Europe, Saudi Arabia, Nevada, Colorado, the list goes on. People are just scattered all over the United States, but it's pretty, pretty cool. Okay. That's enough about the course. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and please subscribe. I love having all these new subscribers. And I promise as soon as my house is all unpacked, I will give you guys a little, a little house tour if you want. If you want a house tour, say do a house tour below. If you don't, don't even bother. All right, guys, have a great day.